Hello, Yolanda. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Hello, good evening. Um, that is very good that you're fine. Cool. Hello, Rosa Elba. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So, Yolanda, I send your information and I ask for your problem, but they haven't answered me yet. Aún no me han respondido. As soon as they as soon as they answer me, I'm going to send you the information. Is it okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Stephanie. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Suleyma, welcome to. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay, Rosalba, I understand. No problem. Good evening, Suleyma. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Oscar, what is Oscar? Well, yesterday we were learning about how to describe a people, right? Describing people using the verb to be. Do you remember some adjectives to describe people? Which are some adjectives that we can use to describe physical appearance of people? Should, should be a slim, skinny, tall, short. Okay, thank you. Yes, you are right. So chubby, skinny, slim, slender. Uh, how do you say alto, pequeño? Do you remember that? Oh, short. Oh, yeah, and short. Okay, the estatura media or estatura promedio? Medium, medium height. Medium height. Okay, medium height. Yes. Eh, si la persona es bonita y es una mujer. She's pretty and cute. Ok, you can use pretty, cute, yes. beautiful. Ok, gorgeous. Gorgeous too. Excellent. So tonight we're going to continue studying this topic. And let's give me a second. I'm going to share with you the presentation of tonight. Close this, and we're going to start here. Describing people. So that is the topic for tonight. We're going to continue learning how to describe a person. So here we go. Okay, welcome, welcome to your class number 10, describing people. That is the topic for tonight. And this is the lesson objective. In this section, you will learn how to describe us in answer question about appearance. That is the topic. Oh, sorry, the lesson objective. That is our goal for tonight. And I want to show you this question. We started learning some of them yesterday. And I have this, what for a general appearance, we have these two questions. What does she look like? What does she look like? What is the meaning of this question? What does she look like? What's the meaning? Okay. Es ¿Cómo se mira si ella? Es, so, ¿Cuál es su apariencia? Muy bien, excelente. ¿Cómo se ve? ¿Cuál es su apariencia física? Then she is tall with red hair and she's gorgeous. I have this example. She's tall with red hair and she's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Sí, el usa, verdad, y también tiene una barba. To ask about age, we use this question to ask for the person age. How old is she or how old is he? And we have some option to answer. She's about 32. She is in his 30s. And he is in his 20s. Eh, generalmente vemos una persona y decimos, ah, ha de tener como 25. 
then we use about. So she's about 25. She's about 32. Well, podría ser que ande cerca de los 32. She's in her 30s. Él está en sus 30. How old is he? He is in his 20s. Él está en sus 20. 21, 22, por ahí. 21, 22 years old, 23. In height. Uh, how tall is she? Or how tall is he? Para preguntar acerca de la estatura, utilizamos esta pregunta. How tall is she? How tall is he? She is 1 meter 88. She is 6 feet 2. He is quite short. Él es un poco bajito de estatura. He is quite short. In hair, how long is her hair? It is medium length. And what color is his hair? Is dark, uh, dark brown or light brown, or he has brown hair. You can use the verb has. Podemos utilizar también el verbo have para describir a una persona características físicas que él tiene. Por ejemplo, el cabello. En lugar de decir he is, hair is red, we can say he has red hair. O his hair is long. We can say he has long hair. Y algo otros aspectos como la barba y el bigote. You can say he has mustache and he has a beard. What's the meaning of gorgeous? What's the meaning of gorgeous? It's very attractive. Es muy atractivo. Ese es el significado de gorgeous. Es a synonym of beautiful. Right? Es un sinónimo de pretty, cute, beautiful, or attractive. That is gorgeous. Do you have any question in this part? No question in this part? Remember the question, right? What does she look like? Does he wear glasses? How old is she? How old is he? How tall is she? How tall is he? How long is her hair? And what color is his hair? So let's see what the next thing. Okay, for a physical, for a general physical appearance, we use this question. What does he look like or what does she look like? For age, we use how old. How old is he? How old are they? How old is she? For height, how tall? Para la estatura, we use how tall. How tall is he? How tall are they? How old is she? Don't forget about this question. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. And we are going to solve this exercise. So write the question to match this statement. So I have the answer. I need to write here the question. My sister is 22 years old. What was the question? Or what is the question? Can how old is she? How old is your sister? Is she? Okay, is she? how old is she? Or how old is your sister? How old is your sister? How old is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. Thank you. The next one. She is. How tall, how is, tall, is, tall she? is she? How, how tall? Okay, excellent. Let me see. How tall is she? How tall is she? And. She's tall and very good looking. What is the question? The answer is she's tall and very good looking. How do she like? How does she like? Uh, you are close, you are close. You are close to the right answer. Um, to... It starts with what? 
How does she look like? Okay. What does she look like? That is the right question. What does she look like? And number four, my sister hair is medium length. How long, How long is her hair? Okay, thank you. How long is hair? Hair hair. hair. How long is her hair? My sister hair is medium length. And the next one, I am 40 years old. How old are you? Okay, how old are you? Thank you so much. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. What does they look like? Ah, okay, mm -hmm. excellent. What? What do? What do they like? What do they look like? Thank you. And the last one, he is 180 centimeters. How tall is he? Easy or difficult? How tall is she or he? He. 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 How tall is he? So we have how old is your sister? How tall is she? What does she look like? How long is her hair? How old are you? What do they look like? And the last one, how tall is he? I need two volunteers to practice in this exercise. One for reading the question and the other one for reading the answer. I have Yolanda and Jacqueline. Thank you. Yolanda, can you please Read the question and Jacqueline the answer, please. Let's start. How old is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She's 190. ¿Cómo se dice? 90? 90. Eh, centimeters. And ah. which are you? Oh? Number two, she's? She's one. 190. 190. Centimeters. Centimeters. She is 190 centimeters. Centimeters. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. How long is her hair? My sister's hair is medium length. How old are you? I am 14. Years old, 40 years old. What do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How tall is he? He is 180 centimeters. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Very good job. I need another two volunteer who wants to practice. I have Suleima and any other volunteer. Thank you, Giselle. Suleima and Giselle, please. Suleima, can you please read the question and Giselle the answer? Mm -hmm. Let's start, please, Suleima. Uh, how is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She is 190 centimeters. What does she look like? She is tall and very good looking. How long is her hair? My sister's hair is medium length. How old are you? I am 40 years old. What do they look like? They, they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How tall is he? He is 180 
centimeters. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you, Suleyma and Giselle. Very good job. Thank you so much. Now, I have another volunteer here who wants to practice. Let me see. Anyone? Any volunteer? Okay, I have Kenny and any other volunteer? Just one more. Thank you, Stephanie. Kenny and Stephanie. Can you please start, Kenny? Okay, teacher. Stephanie, how old is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She's 119 centimeters. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. How long is her hair? My sister hair is medium length. How old are you? I am 14 years old. What do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very how tall is he? He is 118 centimeters. Okay, thank you so much. Now let me ask you a question. How do you pronounce this number? And how you, do you pronounce this other one? Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Stephanie. Very good job. Now, how do you pronounce this number here? And how do you pronounce this other one? I have 19 and 90. And then I have this other two. How do you pronounce this couple of numbers? Can you tell me, please? How do you pronounce this? 14, 14 and 40. Ah, okay, 14 and 40. And what about a... Eighteen and eighty. Okay. 80. Okay. Thank you. And I have nineteen and ninety. So 90. just be careful when saying this number. So eighty. You have to say eighty. Eighteen. Fourteen. Forty. Forty. Nineteen. Ninety. Okay. So thank you so much for your help in this exercise. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next. Just a second. I'm going to delete this part. And then let's continue with the next slide. Yeah, okay. We are going to have a listening practice tonight. Look at this question. Question number one. Any volunteer to read the question for this listening? Sure, may I say something? Yes, tell me. Uh, the classmate say that can connect and the oh. and the and the zoom and the chat are are reading a writing sorry uh is to internet okay thank you oscar so let's see the class but some of them say they have to work Algún, solo tienen que registrarse. Tienen que escribir sus datos. Let me see. Ah, se ver de cuál bien están intentando. Eh, no, teacher, lo que pasa es que a veces la plataforma de Zoom, dependiendo de donde, si se hace de teléfono o si se hace de la computadora, da un link alterno al cual uno tiene que ingresar para poder entrar. Entonces uno se registra y todo, pero automáticamente Zoom le da otro link para que ingrese y tiene que ingresar allí. 
Ah, ok, uh -huh. entonces ese es el problema. Thank you. Sí, quizás pueden conectarse, eso es verdad lo que es ese bueno. Bueno, pero ya no escribió nada. Bueno, esperemos que puedan conectarse en un momento. So, uh, anyone here to read this question, please? And we're going to have a listening practice tonight. So, this is the first conversation of five. Anyone here to read the question, please? Thank you, Suleyma. Okay. Uh... What does Brian look like? How, how old is he? Does he has a mustache? What color is his hair? How tall is he? Okay, thank you. So, Xiomara, do you have a question or a comment? No. Uh, I can see your oh, hand up. Para <laughs> ah, okay, okay, thank you. So we are going to listen this and you have to answer this question. You are going to help to answer this question. So are you ready? What does Brian look like is the first one. How old is he? Does he has a mustache? What color is his hair and how tall is he? There is a mistake in this question. What is it? Can you tell me what is the mistake? What is it? Un punto al que le encuentre. What is the mistake? In one of these questions. What is the mistake? Nobody? Is this one? Look at this. This is it's hard. Yes, does he have a mustache? Okay, that's the mistake in that part. So now listen. One, I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Oh, do you want to listen again or you have the answer? Do you want to listen again? Yes. 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 Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, first question. What does Brian look like? He, look, he looks great. Who looking? He looks Who great. Looking? Ah, okay. Thank you, Xiomara and Lorena. Good looking. He is good looking. And the second one? Sure. It could be he looks great. Yes, he looks great. Yes, he looks great too. Or he is good looking. And the next question, how old is he? How old is he? He is, he is 30. Okay. And does he have a mustache? Yes, he has a mustache. Okay, and what color is his hair? Brown, brown hair. Brown hair. Okay, he has brown hair. And how tall is he? He is pretty tall. Okay, let's see if you're right. Here are the answers. Number one, Brian is good looking. He is about 30. And does he have a mustache? Yes, he does. And he has dark brown hair. And he is pretty tall. ¿Cuántas tenían correctas? All of them. Very good job. So I need two volunteers to practice in this. Who wants to read the question and who wants to read the answer? Okay, I have to be people. Thank you, Stephanie and Lorena. Please, Stephanie, can you please read the question and Lorena, the answer? 
It's practice. Lorena, what does Brian look like? Brian is good looking. How old is he? He is about 30. Does he have a mustache? Yes, he does. What color is his hair? He has dark brown hair. How tall is he? He is pretty tall. Okay, thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the second listening. And I have, I want to show you the next question. Look, any volunteer to read the question, please? Okay, I'm gonna choose one. I have two people here. Thank you, he said. How is Tina? How long is her hair? Number three, what color is her hair? Number four, does she wear content lens? In number five, is her hair strained? Okay, do you have any question about this vocabulary? For example, contact lenses, what is that? Lente de contacto. Okay, thank you. What about, is her hair straight? Su cabello es liso. Okay, thank you. And the pronunciation of this word, hair, hair. So they are, let's see, homophones. They suenan igual. So how long is hair, hair? La pronunciación hair. hair. Yes. How long is her hair? And what color is her hair? So let's listen this. Are you ready? Stay enough if you want. Tome apuntes if you want. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses just for fun. Okay, do you want to listen again? Do you have the answers? Repeat, please. Mm. Number one is 18. Okay, thank you. Number two. How long is her hair? Okay, let's listen again. Let's listen again. She's uh, curly. She's curly. She's curly. Curly hair. Okay, she has curly, curly hair. Um, but it says, how long? How long is her hair? Is it short, long, medium? Shorter length. She's short. Okay, let's listen, don't worry, we can listen again. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Okay. The Short, first one, yeah. Shoulder length, hair. Shoulder Short length, hair. Okay, shoulder, o sea, a la altura de los hombros. Shoulder length mm. hair. Eh, what color Curly. is her hair? Red. 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 Does she wear contact lenses? Yes, mm. she does. Uh, yeah. A funny, a funny, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and is her hair straight? No, she isn't. Okay. Two. Here are, here are the answers. Tina's 18. She's got red hair. Sorry, sorry. Okay, she's 18. You are right. Her hair is shoulder length. Thank you. You are right too. Her hair is red. Yes. Then the answer is no, she doesn't. Does she wear contact lenses? Say no, she doesn't. They are not contact lenses. They are probably sunglasses because it has, he wears interesting glasses just for fun. Solo para divertirse. 
no contact lenses. Uh, is her hair straight? No, it isn't. It's okay. curly. Okay, thank you. So I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Just let me see something here. Here, the verb be is missing. Her hair is shoulder length. Shoulder okay. length. Length. Okay. Two. Tina's a. Xiomara and let's see any other volunteer. I have Xiomara and thank you, Zuleima. So, Xiomara, can you please read the question and Zuleima, the answers, please. Okay. Who is Christina? She's 18. How long is her hair? Her hair is shoulder length. What color is her hair? Her hair is red. Does she wear contact lenses? No. No, she doesn't. Is her hair straight? No, it is it is curly. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much. She's 18, her hair is shoulder length, her hair is red. No, she doesn't. No, it isn't. Okay. It's curly. Thank you. Let's go to the next. Como va la selecta, por cierto? Is somebody watching the game? No, nobody. Okay, let's go with this. What color is Rosie hair? How old is she? How tall is she? Does she wear contact uh, glasses, contact lenses? Is her hair long? Those are the questions for this listening. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's listen. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Do you want to listen again? Yes. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. First question, what color is Rosie's hair? It's blonde. Blonde. Okay, she has blonde hair. How old is she? How old is she? Could her age? Listen? Okay, let's go with number three. How tall is she? Her How age. Her age, su edad. She is 20, 20, 10th age. Oh, okay. 20 or 10? 10. 10. 10, okay. You say 10. How tall is she? How tall is she? She is pretty tall. Oh, excellent. She is pretty tall. Does she wear contact lenses? Yes, she does. Yes, yes, she, she, does. Does. yes, yes she, does. she does. Is her hair long? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes. Yes, she is. Three. Rosie is pretty tall. She has blonde yes, hair. She is thin. She is pretty tall. Yes, she does. And yes, it is. Those are the answers. Thank you so much. I have here... I listen 22. Okay, Rosael will say, I listen 22. Let's listen again. Just to Tall for her age. She Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Okay, she just turned 10. 
Acaba de cumplir los 10 años. She just turned 10. I need to volunteer to practice in this. Who want, in this exercise, who wants to read the question and who wants to read the answer? Thank you, Xiomara and let me see, Xiomara and Stephanie. Stephanie, can you please read the question and Xiomara the answers, please? What, the, what color is rosy hair? She has blonde hair. How old is she? She's 10. How tall is she? She's pretty tall. Does she wear contact glasses? Yes, she does. Is her hair long? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Is her hair long? Thank you. Let's go to the next. And this is a... Just three questions. How old is Tim? How tall is Tim? Is his hair long? Just three questions. So here we go. Are you ready to listen? Yes. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Let's listen again. Second chance. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. How old is Tim? How old is Tim? He is 23 years old. 23? Any other? How tall is Tim? He is fairly short. Fairly short, and is his hair long? Yeah. It's large, I think. Ah, no, okay. he's. Okay, Lorena say no, it is. No, it is. No, it is. This his hair isn't very long. Ah, okay. Let's listen again before to watch the answer. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Okay. It's very long. It's very long. Four. He said he's, Tim's about he's not very long. He's I. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit difficult this part, but so he's about 23. You are right. He is fairly short. You are right too. And the last one. It, is his hair long? So no, it isn't. It says hair, hair isn't very long. En el, la parte del listening. Entonces no tiene muy largo el cabello. So, no, it isn't is the answer. Thank you. I need to volunteer to practice in this. This is a small one. Any volunteer? Oh, thank you, Jacqueline and Lorena. Thank you. Jacqueline, can you please read the question and Lorena the answer? Lorena, how old is Tim? He's about 23. How tall is Tim? He's very short. And is his hair long? No, it isn't. Thank oh, you. Thank, thank you so much, Lorena and Jacqueline. Well done. Let's go with the last one. What does Alice look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? And how old is she? Four questions. Are you ready to listen? Let's solve these. Five. Alice is very tall and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Oh, what does Alice look like? For he's, you want... he's very slim. She's very slim. Oh, she's very slim. And how long is her hair? 
I don't remember. Uh, yes, long, long, long hair. Okay. Yes, and, long hair. And what color is her hair? Black. Black hair. Black hair. How old is she? Is 25. 25. 25. Okay, let's listen again just to be sure the answer. Five. Alice is very tall and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, let's see the answer. Five. Alice is very tall. Here you can see the answer. Number one, what does Alice look like? She's very slim. Her hair is long. Yes, her hair is black. And she's around 25 years old. That was excellent. Thank you. So the last two volunteers to practice in this. Who wants to read the equation? Who wants to practice the equation? And who wants to practice the answer? Any volunteer? Thank you, Yolanda and... Ruben, Yolanda and Ruben. So Yolanda, can you please read the question and Ruben the answers, please? What does Alice look like, Ruben? She's very slim. Long is her hair? Her hair is long. What color is her hair? Her hair is black. How old is she? She's around 25. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent job. So don't forget about this question. What does he or she look like? How long is his or her hair? What color is his or her hair? And how old is he or how old is she? We use this question to describe a person. Now let's talk a little bit about the order of the adjective. Let's see, for example, eh, cuántos adjetivos podemos utilizar para describir el cabello de alguien. Necesitamos un adjetivo size, ¿verdad? De tamaño, color, que, ¿cuál es el otro? Cuando describe el cabello de alguien. Teacher, what is the meaning of age? Eh, age, edad. Edad. Thank you. Bueno, cuando describimos el cabello de alguien, por ejemplo, decimos su tamaño, su color y su forma. Podemos hacerlo en una sola oración. Sí podemos. We can do that. Pero necesitamos seguir un orden. Los adjetivos en inglés llevan un orden. What's the meaning of shape? El significado de shape es forma forma, we have a opinion, tenemos adjetivos de opinión, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. So when you are describing people, you need to worry about your opinion, qué opina usted de esa persona, de cómo se mira, si es beautiful, handsome, cute, pretty, eh, ugly, the person size is tall, short, el tamaño de la persona, si es alto, bajito, medio, high, después va la edad, age, su edad, young, adult, teenager, elder, shape, su forma, si es chubby, eh, what more? Si es chubby, en thin. este caso, con el cabello, porque algunos que es liso, otros es Ah, esa sería la forma, shape. Shape. Okay. Yeah. And then we have color and origin. Después tenemos color y origen, ¿verdad? No siempre vamos a utilizar todos estos adjetivos, sino de lo que estamos hablando o los adjetivos que queramos usar. Let's see, for example, this. Order of the adjective. Estamos describiendo el cabello de alguien. So we have size. Sería el tamaño, shape, la forma y el color. And I have this example. She has long, straight, black hair. 
Entonces puedo hacerlo en una sola oración. Ok. So don't forget about this order. Podemos hacerlo en una oración en lugar de decir she has long hair, she has straight hair, she has black hair. Podemos hacerlo en una oración she has long straight black hair. Pero necesitamos seguir este orden. No se les olvide. Size, shade, and color. And here I have another example. He has short curly brown hair. Él tiene cabello corto, colocho y café. En una sola oración. Pero tenemos que seguir siempre este orden. He has short curly brown hair. She has long, striped black hair. So we need size, shape, and color. Let's take a look of this. Podemos describir a una persona en lugar de estar diciendo he's handsome, he's tall, he's slim, he's young, he's American. Yes, for practice it's okay. But when we are talking, we say in a sentence. He's a handsome, tall, slim, young, American man. Easy in one sentence. But we need to follow the order of the adjective. Hanson, adjetivo de qué tipo es? Hanson. Guapo, atractivo. Ah, ok, yes. Es una opinión, ¿verdad? Que usted tiene de este muchacho. Me hablaron. By his a Hanson. Luego viene size, ¿verdad? El tamaño sería tall. Shade, slim, then age, young, and origin. Su nacionalidad, su origen, American. So he is a handsome, tall, slim, young, American man. Lo describimos en una sola oración. Just one sentence. ¿Es más fácil esta manera o es más fácil decir he is a handsome man, he's tall, he's slim, he's young, he's American? ¿Cuál les gusta más o cuál creen que es más fácil? Just using this way, just be careful that you need to follow the order of the adjective. Questions? Do you have any questions? Esta segunda forma es más fácil. Oh, yes, it is, right? So you can use it too. Puede utilizarla también. Look at this. I have another example here. She is an attractive, medium height, slender, young Colombian woman. Just an example. She's an attractive, medium height, slender, young Colombian woman. Todas sus características in just one sentence. But don't forget to follow the right order of the adjective to do this, okay? Now, other physical characteristics that you can use when you are describing, when you are describing someone. Wrinkles, freckles, mole, and of course, the color of the skin. So what is wrinkles? Do you have any idea? No, teacher. She has wrinkles, or he has wrinkles. He has arrugas, ¿verdad? Tiene arrugas. Las patitas de gallo, dicen por ahí. Wrinkles, arruga, arrugas, perdón. Freakless, freakless. Freakless. Pecas. Ok, pecas. Freakless. Pecas, mol. What is it? Lunar. Okay, lunar is whether he has a big mole in his forehead. El tiene un gran lunar en su frente. Y de color skin, right? We can use pale, brown, dark, fair, tan, light brown. 
para decir que una persona es morena, we can use brown. What's the meaning of shade? What's the meaning of slim? Uh, slim, what's the meaning of slim? Can you please help Juan? What's the meaning of slim? Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerdan del significado de slim? Delgado. 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 Ok, thank you, delgado. Bueno, si estamos hablando del color de piel de una persona, podemos utilizar estos adjetivos. Pale, si es blanco. Brown, si es moreno. Dark, eh, si es un poquito más moreno. Dark. Eh, Fair, es una persona blanca. Tan, eh, es una persona bronceada. En light brown. Es una persona que no es tan morena. Light brown. So we can use, yes, something like that. Again, light brown. So dark brown. Eh, we don't use black. No utilizamos el adjetivo black para describir a una persona. It's offensive right? to say he's black, she's black. So we don't use that. Let's continue. So, can you tell me some sentences to describe this man? Help me to describe this man, please. Tell me some he sentences. Is, he is John. Okay. Very good sentence. He is John. Thank you. Any other one? He's John. Medium height. Okay, he is medium. He is medium height and slim. Medium height, medium height. Height and slim. Okay, he is slim. Any other sentence to describe this? What about his hair? Uh, his he is hair. Blonde hair. Blonde. Okay, he has blonde, blonde hair. What about short. the size? He's short. He has short hair. He's fit, teacher. Thank you, he is fit. What about general appearance? He's attractive, handsome, ugly. He's serious. Ah, okay. He is a serious. He is fire. He is fire. Fire. His king is fire. Fire. Okay. okay. Then we say he has. He has fair skin. Fair skin. Oh. He has, he has gone bone, teacher. He has what? Goes bone. I forgot to you say goes bone. For that reason, he covered it with, with skin, with the, with the sweater, sweater. <laughs> okay, okay. He has. Can you spell the word for me, please? I forgot to you say. Él se, él tiene piel de gallina, por eso cubrió su piel con un suéter. <laughs> Ah, come on. <laughs> Don't I, you, are you are kidding me, right? Okay. I'm for, I for good. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Now, por la ropa que ando usando, también podemos describir una persona. Pueden decirme que está usando él. Then you use has. He has. He has sneakers. Okay, sneakers. he has sneakers or tennis. Black jeans. Okay, excellent. He has black jeans. Sunglasses. He wears sunglasses. Okay, he has sunglasses or he is wearing sunglasses. He has no. sunglasses. Uh, he has a black sweater. I don't remember. He has wear she has wear ah, from water proof jacket. He has a waterproof. Jacket. Jacket. Okay. 
que has a waterproof jacket. Thank you. So we use has to describe que anda puesto. He has a sneaker, he has black jeans, he has sunglasses, he has a waterproof jacket. So the last one, the last thing for tonight. Help me to describe the next person. Yes, the last activity for tonight. Can you please describe her? She is. She is chubby. She okay. is beautiful. <laughs> okay, she is beautiful. She is chubby. She has okay. curly hair. <laughs> she she is has, she has long hair. Long hair. Okay, thank you. She has long hair. She has curly hair. She uh, is, no, she has a skin pale. Okay, she has pale skin, thank you. She is short. She is short, thank you so much. Any other answer? Sorry, any other sentence to describe this woman? She is short. She has a brown. She has a... Thank you. She has brown, brown eyes. She has brown eyes. Thank you. She, look, she looks happy. Okay, she is happy. She's happy. Any other sentence? She has a purple t-shirt. Okay, she has a purple. Blows. It... Okay, blows. She has a purple blows. And she has black. Shorts. shorts. Black shorts. And what color is her hair? Black. 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 She has black hair. Oh, by the way, I investigate about the what was Rubio Cenizo? What's the word yesterday? It's like ash blonde. Ash blonde. And the color is pretty cute, right? It's muy bonito ese color. Ash blonde. Rubio Cenizo. ¿Quién dijo eso ayer? It's a pretty good color for your hair. Any other sentence? Okay, just a volunteer to read this description. Who wants to try? Thank you, Xiomara. Okay, she is beautiful. She is a uh, chubby. She has long hair. She has curly hair. She has pale skin. She is short. She has brown eyes. She is happy. She has a purple blouse. She has black shirt and she has black hair. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about tonight's class? Questions? Not question. No, no. question. No, thank you. Thank you, Oscar. So the platform, please don't forget about the exercises on the platform. It is really important that you complete the section number four during this week. And the next one, is section number five in the final test, please. If you can do it, uh, you can complete the whole platform exercises during this week. Remember that it, there isn't any problem, right? If you complete the platform before the due date. So, you can do it. Work hard on that, please. So, con Yolanda estamos esperando la información, ¿verdad? A ver, ¿qué me dicen? Que me resuelven y yo le aviso. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you so much. You did a great job tonight. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, you teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.